Hey, folks. We're here at NAM 2020. Can you believe that? God, how old am I? I don't know. I don't know how old we are. But I do know this. I'm here with Tom Murphy, a man who creates so much temptation for me. Every doggone month, I come out to Wildwood, and I, got, I play those guitars. And I'm like, Jesus wept. These guitars are crushing my soul and grabbing it, wringing it out. Sweet oh, soul juice goes on the floor, and I got to sweep it up again. What? It's getting deep. It's it getting is. Deep. Last time I that, was that, out, that, Tom, there was a double gold. Murphy's gold. Murphy's gold. Right, where does that come from? It comes from the man of There's heaven, my friend. a special place. That's right. So let me ask you this. Yes. You're painting those guitars. You catching a buzz when you're doing that? Is it? A, is it? Are you? It, are you an astral plane when you make these guitars happen? Well, after all the years, it hasn't had any uh, 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 nah. effect. On, but no, no, I take precautions in that regard. But I get a buzz seeing them when I'm doing them. Yes. Because, as you know, I send photos occasionally, because I can't believe what I'm seeing. So I'll send, I'll send Steve photos because it's the wood, and it's really. Really cool to get to do it. I dig it. I can dig it. So, what's your favorite of all? Do you like a, a certain kind of hue of burst that well, you? Well, let me tell you. The over the years, I won't tell the whole story, of course. But when I was 19, I sat on a tile floor in a small club in Houston, Texas. From here to that camera, from Billy Gibbons playing yes. that Les Paul, we right. heard he got. Yeah. And it's burned into my brain, right? right. And so that fiddle back, wiggly stuff that sort of flip flopped and then that color, which is brown or red and what, yeah, yeah. that's it for me forever. Right. Even though it's not the fanta most fantastic top, that's reality for me at Les Paul. I can and so it. It's always been sort of a pattern for my burst on my guitars or whatever. And uh, fortunately, we've been able to reproduce that guitar, as you know. Yes. You know? So, uh, yeah, just as, as a, just a sort of tidbit, yeah, Pearly Gates is, is the one. Not over the top, just real and... She sounded pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, a little bit. A glorious tone. But some, the wood does most of the work. When I'm doing my thing, I've got a little special thing, and it comes alive as I do one little thing, and, and that's when I send the pictures to Steve. And go, yes. And you hear a groaning sound on the other end. Oh, oh, oh. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. That's not right. That's not weird. <laughs> well. Quite scarily accurate. <laughs> We're into this. We are into this. So how many of these things do you do on a, in a given week, month? Well, I mean, you know, uh, the aging thing has been running for 20 years now, right. by the way. And uh, the, the, the number for those in a week's time has varied radically. Right. And now it's dwindling because I'm running out of energy, but we're still into it that real deeply. But when the, the order's for the painting, right. then I'll go in after the guys are out of the booth so I have my freedom. And, and run the place. And I've done as many as 15 or 16 in a, in a setting, but and there's like three or four steps to the process. Some include sanding. And so uh, if I can keep them in a bunch, I don't want three lemon bursts and two iced teas and one dark burst and then a cherry. This is I'll get them all mixed up. But if I can do the tea burst in one setting and the, and the lemon burst, and that's sort of the way we do it by the prescription, you know, so. Well, let me ask you this. I know a lot of people also give you old guitars that they want refurbished and reimagined in a aged format. So you yes. played a lot of the old ones, you're obviously making the new ones. Mm -hmm. I, I know you're gonna have to give me a political answer, but how close? Let me just tell you, and I, and I, I'm really picky. And I was so proud of being involved in it from the very beginning. But the historic in 93, which is my pride and joy, is not even, close compared to what they are now right because <clears throat> that was a, a project and and it was successful and it was <clears throat> me being really r really picky about what i wanted and, and they would want and my peers would want but it's sort of my thing and they would let me do what i could get away with and they would help me with but now it's factory wide the custom shop is dedicated so if they want to change a, the digit on a knob they get to do it Got it. And I mean, the guitars are it today. Right. Yes, they can vary in sound or the wood and everything else, but you're not gonna get a better feel of neck and and a better carving the top and the shape of the knob, the logo, and then the playability. And pickups used to be sort of the 
what is it, Achilles heel. Right. And, and I even told the GM that one time that everyone thinks they just got to yank the pickups out. There was just this thing about a superstition or a, a suspicion. And he goes, well, let's outsource them. I go, well, that's not really the answer. Right. Whatever it is, just make them. And now you've got a variation. I, I use custom buckers in mine because I heard a guitar one time. I went, whatever that is. I want it. And I'm not a pickup of the month guy. Right. But whatever that was, you, give me a couple. Right. And if you want hotter or softer, and that's not really my area of expertise, right. but I know they, they have them in all right. those areas. Now. So. <laughs> Now make the time. Ma I, I mean, seriously, I don't know how much better they can get. Right. So I'll just make them look older. You know what's so cool about that? It's just in time for the end of the world. You know what yes, I mean? Am I right? Really, it, it is, really. So you better get them now. That's right. And enjoy. I got the last one. <laughs> Let the good times roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, really, just to have to been involved with the guitar, the project, which turned into a division, and uh, uh, the people, the way people have enjoyed it, as you just saw there with that gentleman. Yeah, yeah. And then now that I still get to participate and touch them and have impact on them, uh, very cool. I can dig it. Very. I mean, when I was a kid, or think about sitting on the floor when I was 19, if somebody had tapped me on the shoulder and go, hey, see that guitar? In about 30 years, they're gonna ask you to reproduce that. I would have said, okay, wh where, when's this gonna happen? Right. It's crazy. At Gibson, you're going to work there, and you're going to touch that guitar. That's cool. Crazy. Cool crazy stuff. Crazy business. Crazy stuff. So I try not to forget that on a hard day, end of the day, sort of really tired of doing the stuff. Hey, could be way worse. I can dig it. And then to have the Wildwood guys who have been so faithful. We've had a relationship for a long time. I won't talk about that part, but... but but a relationship that we built on, and they take the specialized products. They've really been great to me, uh, and fortunately, it works for them. Yes. And uh, just it makes the world go around for me. I love it. Well, I'll tell you what. I've been uh, every time I'm out as of late. Steve, what's, what's my cost on this one? Oh my God, there's Sasquatch over there. Sorry about that. Listen. Yes. We've got aliens lurking through the area here. Yes. But uh, it's just a non-stop lust fest, so. Well, when he says, we sell them when we get them, I'm going, good, there's still people out there right. passionate. Uh, I hope they're not just old people who, well, who you know, but uh, it's fulfilling that thing. I mean, I, I remember in the early 70s, when people had fantasies. I, I wonder if Kalamazoo would make a copy of a 59. It's like, no. Right. You know, why would they do that? Right. And uh, so it, it, I've, I've met several people here who have vast quantities of these things. Right. And they can't quit buying them. I know. Well, I don't know. What is it with Les Paul? I mean, obviously, they're an iconic guitar. It's iconic. All of our All of our favorite, not all of them, but most of our favorite guitar yeah. players play those guitars. But there's just something about just looking at the damn there's thing. There's a combination of the just the design, which I, I remember the first one I ever saw was a gold top. And I thought, uh, you remember the Chambers Brothers? Yeah. Okay, they had two gold tops. That just looked like a rock and roll tool. Right. You know, and Bluefield had a gold top. Right. When I saw him with the sunburst, I thought, what is that? Song? Like an old band guitar or something? Right. Until we right. found out, no, that wasn't right. the case. But you combine that wood with the basic design of the guitar, which we've heard sounds come out of, it's just killer. It's and intoxicating. It, and, and, it, and it's really complex to build, you know. Yep. You know, and to see that they continue that and stay dedicated to it, so it starts sounding really corny, but you go in that room and see, the, imagine the labor that's gone into putting all that stuff together right. and that you still can buy it. And the people that are doing it now are really committed. And that's a cool thing. It ain't going away. Right. And so to think that it's getting better now, it is, man. It's, I want one. I want one. God damn it. I mean, dog on it. <clears throat> Using yeah, non wildwood talk. I gotta leave. I gotta go buy one. No. Right. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's, it's all real cool, like I said, to get to be involved in it and to see it and then see that people like it. If they were going out there and collecting dust, it'd be different. Like, right. Isn't that really cool? Yeah, but I can't. Uh, right. So. And well, keep up the good work, doggone uh, it. I, 
I'm going to try to do that. And I do it even more now that I'm a formal employee of the Gibson Custom Division. I like it. That's where you find me. You can dig it. Well, thank Thanks, you so guys. much. It's a pleasure. All right. Look forward to seeing more of your creations. Gregory Cockery here for the Wildwood Gang. NAM 2020 out.